Hello, everybody. Uh, so live is a, a product and a service, um, but it's and it's a startup, but we're, we're not a startup company. We've been virtual for 25 years um, working in technology and know a, a bunch of you on the call. So uh, when the world went into pandemic mode, we were really frustrated because we couldn't go to trade shows anymore. So we built live out of our own frustration um, for that connection of, of what we were missing. So I'll give you a quick overview of the platform, um, just the details really quick. It's for us, it's all about face-to-face, -face, right? Cause you can talk to someone on the phone but seeing somebody and their mannerisms is irreplaceable. So we decided to build this using Zoom. We've been in the Zoom affair since 2014, I think. Um, so we're well-versed at it. Uh, we've built it so that participants and organizers do not need to have their own account. Um, everything I'm gonna show you is customizable. So we've um, basically built a, a web-based dashboard that can look like anything for anybody. And we've done a bunch of events this way. I can't show all of them to you because they're private, but I will show you a demo screen and I will show you a, a public event just to, to give you an idea. Um, and it also works on any mobile device. So we started with the attendee experience. Why do people you know, attend events? And the big thing that I know someone said before, might've been in your slide, Robin, was content, right? That's why we go, that's the draw is for content. Um, but besides that, I can get the content on the web. Why, you know, why else would I go? To connect. I wanna connect with people, either people I know, people I don't know, business people, social, whatever it is, but that's why I show up to an event. And the last is community, right? You want a sense of community. And when you're at an event, you're all there together. It's not recorded for your viewing later. You show up, there's a beginning and an end, and you're all in the community at the same time. So why live? We've come up with ways to uh, multiple ways to share content with the attendees, which yes, I'll show you quickly. Sorry. Um, we believe this system naturally engages the attendees. Um, the main thing is that as an attendee, you have the choice to move anywhere you want, just like you would at a physical event. If you wanna go into a pub, you go into a pub. If you wanna see a particular session, you go into that session. If you are looking for someone, you walk around the halls looking for somebody, right? So we believe that this um, really uh, enables that. Um, the other key thing to this, which I'll show you is that you can see where people are in the event. So you don't actually have to walk the halls. You can see where they are and then you can join them for a face-to-face -face interaction. Chance meetings, another big thing that's been missing from these virtual events, you know, you, that hallway conversation. Hey, good to see you. Hey, did you see X, Y, Z? Or I know so-and-so is looking for, you know, whatever. You don't have those in the virtual world. So the event, um, the way that we do the events, we, we believe you, those chance meetings do happen. We've also built it. So there are sponsorship opportunities. It's easy to monetize for an organizer. Um, we also give you really extensive reporting and analytics um, which we will, I'll show you a little bit later, later but th that's really key for, uh, for folks. So the event analytics, we you get a, a post event report. We track everything from like who attended, how long did they stay? Where did they spend their time? Were they in a demo room? Were they in a presentation, in a conference session, even for training? Did they fulfill that training room that they were supposed to be in? We can see how long they, they were there. Um, we can also monitor presentations, which presentation drew the largest audience lots of things like that. Um, we also believe that the hybrid thing is not going away. <laughs> so all the events that we have done, we have seen double and triple the audience. Um, and these are shows that people use live to replace their in-person show. Um, so we, you know, we, we understand that not everyone's gonna be able to go back or wanna go back to an in-person event. You know, there's cost, prohi cost prohibitive times, all that but now you don't wanna lose them. That's a whole new audience. Everyone has spent the past year building. So how do we include them as we go forward? So we designed live to do that. We can stream content from a, your physical event onto the live platform. So the virtual audience can experience it in real time. It can be recorded, it can be either. Um, you can actually have real face-to-face -face engagement with people at the physical show, as well as in the virtual world. Because we're using Zoom, pick up your phone, go on a computer, and now you can actually talk to people in the virtual environment. And if you want to uh, grab that real quick, I will leave that up, but I'm going to uh, take you to show you some platform examples. 
there is a lot um, to show, and I know I don't have a lot of time, even though I do talk fast. Uh, let's see, I can't seem to get out of that. There we go. Okay. I'm going to show you. All right. So as I said, everything is customizable in here. I'm showing you real quickly because it was a public event, so I can show it to you, um, just to give you an idea. And Robin, you know these folks. We did an awards program for somebody. This is their dashboard. Um, they were able to sell sponsorships all over the place. They created rooms and areas that they wanted, and we did an award on the main stage. I'm gonna show you the demo. This is our demo environment. It's not as pretty as the others, um, but this is what we have to show you. Okay, so on the upper left-hand corner here under event navigation is our map. The map is this, and again, you saw it to be anything. So everything is customizable here. Um, we created this because some people feel they need a physical understanding of where they are in an event. Um, on the, so you can click on any of these buttons here and, and go into that room. What we also did was active rooms and users. And that's the, the, the cool part about this is you can see there are people in these rooms right now. They're sitting in the demo environment just so I can show you guys without having to go into it. So now if I want to talk to Susan, I can go in. I know where she is. And I can also just click on any of these and be taken right into that room. So I can use the map to navigate or I can click on any of the rooms to go in. All right, then we are gonna to go to the schedule. We've built it a schedule for an event. Everything is linkable to that actual event. You can put it on your calendars. Um, this can be branded, a million things you can do with this. But the key is we've teamed it with your time zone. So when you come into one of our events, it automatically captures what time zone you're in and it converts the schedule into your time zone. So you don't have to calculate when is that session I wanted to see. We also have um, our users who are in the system and you can search by name. You can go down, you can see, are they active? Are they not active? And then you can chat them. So once we're in, in a main room, you're in, you're in Zoom, it opens up to a room. I can chat in the room, but what if I'm not in the same room and I wanna meet? I can now use the chat feature to say, hey, meet me in the pub in 15 minutes. Just like I've at an event texting somebody to meet in a physical space, same kind of thing. Um, the multiple ways we can share video, um, YouTube, we can stream from. Uh, it could be Vimeo, it could be anything. It's just, you know, a recorded, recorded video. Um, we can also take a live stream, as I said. And what we're going to look at right here is, this is just a live stream from Amsterdam. It's a webcam at Dam Square because we missed it. And it's just there. So you can see the hybrid capabilities by doing that. Uh, then we've got examples. You can see the different branding you can do here. Like if you go into the live booth, this would be an example of an exhibit if that's what you wanted to use it for. You'd go in, it would have a branded background. And within here, there would be the video conferencing that we're experiencing right now, but in here. So you'd be greeted by somebody. There would be breakout rooms. Those breakout rooms could be anything you wanted. You wanted to have sales offices, product demos, presentation theaters, anything. But that's an example of how we could do a traditional exhibit booth. Um, we also have uh, the resource links. And if you go to the resource links, this is basically just showing you that we can embed any website into this. So you're not linking something and being taken away from the platform. It's all within the platform. Um, what's great about here is let's say you're doing your, your uh, it's an exhibit and you want to, you don't have to upload all of your assets into the platform for people to download. Just give us the URL. We embed in the system and people can download your materials right within the platform. Okay, let's see. Um, then since we can see everybody, which is the point, um, People said, well, what if I don't want to be seen? What if I'm talking to a customer and I don't want the entire event to know who I'm talking to? We've created an ability to do private meetings. So we would create private meeting area and you would not show up on that left-hand side in the active rooms and users. Um, again, the sponsorships, any of this, these buttons are brandable, changeable. They could be anything. Logos down here can be anything. Um, I will show you another quick example. This is another example of using embedding music in here, uh, embedding a video in here. This is just a YouTube video. 
Um, and this could be, let's say this is a university. So in here, I'm coming in, I can watch a little video and I wanna talk to someone in administration. I'd click on administration, it would open me up into a new meeting and I would be in a Zoom face-to-face -face with admin. So it's that kind of um, flexible stuff that we do. Um, I think that's it. I don't even know how quick I did that or <laughs> too long. You did fabulously, let's hear it. But um, we, we also, you know, being able to go everywhere in your meeting, like on live, is going to make us just sit in our chairs even more. So everybody, like, put your hands up over your head or something. Harry, do you want to lead us in, like, uh, your experience so far? Where are you, Harry? Bring yourself back up here. Yeah. And tell us what you're thinking.